Hey, why I have a jam on tea? And I can see over. I don't mind me for tata. I don't mind me here. I'm here once again. Oh my boy, I'm a chocolate nana. She went meditate to go. In camel, you drew your milk was all if I need to. More. Oh, wonderful. You see, eh? Oh, the. continue i would like to say happy um july to each and every one of you happy july have make sure you have a wonderful july enjoy yourself <laughs> why are the men crying on my last video why are they crying why are they crying the same thing you are doing. Oh, what does he mean? He said, "Naro." That means you know that Nifi ne me baaro. He ne zoo show the game man aro. He just go zoo go shis. He be be zee no de lo zima. Manambu ne me ano de ma. I'm coming. You can't make you do it. You make all so. You make you go. You need to do another one. Because so you wanna yam mutai here. All of us we must hear something. So many of you were calling me on the phone. Some were threatening me on WhatsApp. Doing all manner of things. But I said the truth. You cannot shut me up. You cannot shut me up. You cannot. But it's not possible. This is what I'm born for. Or if I can be at me. To restore the order. To restore it. Or if I can be at me. But before I continue my video today, make sure you, as you are joining me, you are sharing this video. Before I continue my video today, I would like to call out my phone number. Makande, Senana, Skamoha. So, when you decide to follow a scammer, scammer, jam, scammer, scammer, succumb. Because I always call my number in the beginning of my videos, at least since 2022. Mm -hmm. So, my phone number remains 070. 305-705-06. You're not in Nigeria. The code is plus 234. Plus 234 That is my phone number. So, Kai call Nubi. Today, I want to talk on this topic, matriarchy. You know, my last video, somebody said um, on YouTube that I should calm down, that it's like I'm angry, that the way I'm talking in the video is like someone annoyed me. It's not like someone annoyed me. What is going on? If an MN abai an MM annoy. The things going on around us is annoying me. That is what is annoying me. No sane human being, nobody that calls him or herself a good person will see what is going on and keep quiet about it. Ibo is not happy herself. Someone came to me to, to tell me, eh, Ajane will pursue me, and eh, he will do this one. Ah, he did this one to Aya Ananda and Okung. Why does it look like Aya Ananda and Okung? Did I look like a magician to you? Do you know me? Do you know what I represent? You may be a big one. You may be a big one. Do you know my purpose? So who are you to tell me what to talk on? Focus on your work while I focus on mine. I'm doing my work to the best of my knowledge. And my work is to restore sanity and balance. If he means using force, because what I did the other day was force. Using force to impact that knowledge, that is what I will use. I want to know what women are. Whenever I talk, in previous time, when I talk, it is not our women are. It is not our women are. Now, I brought out your women are. That says, this is this and this is that. Does this woman actually have the right to? As much as you do. And you're crying. Nobody came out to counter it. All they are doing is regurgitating. Nobody came out to say there is no ikone or there is no ikona. Because that is the truth. Okay, where is your... Oh, so a woman... Why do you believe that a woman is an object? That has no feelings? It's not a woman. 
Why do you believe that a woman is an object that doesn't have any feelings and you can treat her as you wish? Why do you believe so? Now, let me give you facts and figures again. I said I won't come out here to say what I do not know. I would always come out to say what I know and what is the truth, the universal truth. I stand for the truth. That is what I stand for. That is what I stand for, the truth. That you do not accept it does not make it untrue. Neewetero does not make it untrue. You do not accept it. That is your right. But it doesn't change it. If an acha black, everybody recognizes it is not acha black. If you decide that you do not agree, it is, that is you. It is your right to disagree. But it does not change the color of what I'm holding in my hand. It does not change the truth that I have revealed. Understand that and deal with it. What I go there first. Some of you think you can shame me with marriage. <laughs> it's not every woman that is desperate for marriage. I'm one of those women that is not desperate for marriage. Because I cannot marry nonsense. Manu nonsense. I cannot live with nonsense. Anybody that knows me very well will know that I'm a woman's woman. And I, require, I demand that same respect. That if I'm faithful to you, you should be faithful to me. But it's <laughs> I will the cheating. Two can play the game. But that's not what I, why I came here today. I came here today to talk about matriarchy. FMB like me. I came to talk about matriarchy. It is something that is neglected. Something that people are not paying attention to. Igbo. No turn or today. Now, let me tell you, before I go on to talk about Igbo, I need you to understand that Igbo is not the five states you see in the Southeast. Igbo is not Anambra, Enugu, Imo, Adia, um, Eboye. That is not Imo. Igbo is not. Igbo is beyond those five states. You need to understand that. Igbo is not a tribe. <laughs> you need to understand that. Igbo Igbo is a spirit. Igbo is a race. Igbo is a force. Why you now go pity picture where now? When you come on my WhatsApp, you call call me on phone to threaten me with your rubbish. Try it. I'm not begging you. I don't your mother because why hour? You are here at the media no be. Why hour? I put you no juga for why hour? You no juga for no what? Try it. I won't say much. I won't say further. Igbo is beyond the five tribes in the East. Igbo is a spirit. And the last time I met her, Igbo is a woman. She's, she was weeping. She was crying. You're not ashamed of yourself. Patriarchy, patriarchy. Small power they give men. Hmm. Only a few men are sane in our society today. Only a few. Alo bara for bru omenani. Alo bara for kunneme. That is what you call omenani. Alo bara for. Like you, you sit down and decide the way it will favor you, and then as a warrior stamp, it becomes a tradition. If it, the, the, that which you use, that is what I used. To just small pool. I've not started, and you people are crying. Akwe bido be kwe. Say tiye na akwa. Say tiye na akwa. Akwe bido be. Matriarchy. This was the original order. From inception, the universal foundation was laid on a feminine energy. The universal foundation stands on femininity. Stands on the feminine. There is also the masculine side. The first woman reproduced her sexually. As opposed to what your Bible tells you. Most 
of what you are practicing today is what your colonial masters gave you in the Bible. That is what you're practicing today. And you call it your omenala. That's why I said, I will not be party to any omenala that subjugates someone because of their sex. Their sex. Because of their gender. I will not be party to it. And I'll continue talking against it. You cannot shut me up. You will not beat me. You will only talk in your house. You might see me say, and it will come back to you. And it will come back to you. The foundation of this world was laid on humanity. You call Osebolowa. Osebolowa wa wanye. A fusion of the masculine and feminine energy. Osebolowa. Yeah, Joey, you go. Oh, come on, Abu, on Abu, ma. You Joey, you go. Okay, we are Abu, ma. You Joey, you go. We are Abu, ma. is a feminine energy. In the beginning, it was the matriarchs, the mothers. We all know how mothers function. You know how a mother functions. Why in our mother work? Our mother why? There is no say Why a woman will give birth to a, 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 a man, give birth to a woman, and she will love them. She will take care of them. She will love them equally, treat them right. Male for former, that is what a woman does. But most times, the male, they are always tilting towards, oh, this one is my hair. This one is this. They are always liking. With a mother's love, it is more balanced. Yeah, there are still some men that love their dad so much. Some men, what they do to people's children, in the name of marriage, they will not let any man try it with their dad. He say waka, he say wari eha, but they try the same thing with other people, sada. And you tell me they are not evil. Matriarchy. My father, with all his women, and he recognizes na bu moyense. Mom, mommy, who yem? Okwe mami boyense. Say I know. But today, your tradition and culture. A woman cannot be a woman cannot be also. Some women may say they have a center UK called London. Do I know where they did what they did? And people wanted to cry on Facebook. Ah, why are you a chaser? Ah, really? And that is your worry. All the arrow that is happening down here, you cannot see it. It is frivolities because what is title? Frivolities that is what you are after. If any well you see something that does not add to growth, something that does not add to life, that is what you're after. That is what is taking your time. That is what is taking your energy. That is what you're so proud you want to be engaged in. In the beginning, women, women were the leaders. And I would like to correct an impression. Some nditi borebo that calls themselves man. They are not man enough. They are nditi borebo. Ndi ofeke. Being a man is not just about having a penis. Some nditi borebo that calls themselves a man. Uh, go and marry yourself now. You are marrying that woman. That woman is marrying you. You are marrying each other. That is why you can come out. You say you are a married man. <laughs> or will you call yourself a married man? You are a married man when you marry a woman. She's marrying you. You are also marrying her. The marriage you I can't I can't I can't. So you cannot come out and tell me you're marrying a woman. And a woman cannot marry you. She's marrying you. That is why you answer a married man. Okay, wine. You are holding each other in a bond. When you pay her bride price, her family pays the dowry. They buy things. AJ Binono. 
and she moves them. This is how marriage happens in Igbo land. A proper marriage when it happens in Igbo land, you as a man could you will see. The woman, Ndibefa, Gakwangongo, they, they buy things that you used to live in a home. Things that you used to live in a home. And they pack it, they give it to you. She carries it, they present it to your people. You, they carry it into your home. And you live with it. That a lot of golden. And you use it if you be no no. If tomorrow you come out to say, okay, you don't want this marriage anymore. The, that bride price is a token. It doesn't mean you are buying her. You do not buy her. You don't buy a human being. That's bride price you paid is returned to you. And everything she came into your house with. Those dowry, that thing that they brought into your home, you're using to leave. They will take it back. Transaction um how do i reverse they will take it back okay let's assume you 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 you're the only one that paid bright price let's assume you pay bright price how much and this woman comes into your home some of them do free labor they wash your clothes cook your food take care of you can't employ someone and pay the person can okay, go no employ someone to do it and pay the person so you will know how much. So you understand the, the, the services you're taking for free. Go and pay for surrogacy. So that you understand. The services you're getting for free. Amu you don't want your lineage to close. The woman's lineage can never close. Because she will always reproduce. You are the one that is, hey, let me let me not be the let me not be the last. Hey, let my lineage not close. She's actually the one bringing in more than more than you dropped. So won't you be mad to come out and, and type all the manner of rubbish? She fell on Are you not ashamed of yourselves? <laughs> like I said, the universe was laid on matriarchy. Women were leaders. And then everything was balanced. Africa was conquered. Igbo was conquered. The moment you turned everything upside down. The moment you decided a woman no longer has rights. The moment you decided a woman is now an object. The moment you decided a woman should no longer speak. One of the greatest revolutions in history of Igbo land was done by women. About women riots. Where were the men? You will come out to say, Hey, oh, mother, have power, oh, mother, have power. Do, do they see that have that? The power you've stripped them of and they are now comfortable with it. Groveling before your feet. That is what you like. Is the power still there? The power of one oh, mother. No more that I was in the PDP. That is what they are doing. Because their brain, their brain has been damaged that they cannot amount to anything else. You only see them in action recently over frivolities. When Omada was Omada, PDP, Omada Keta was the highest bidder. AFA go, they will go and vote the highest bidder. Oh, now this person. Oh, yeah, be able to rise. Oh, yeah, can you get a photo? You do a photo. Oh, yeah. You remain, can you remain? Because you now flow with the paper. So, next time, don't talk to me about the powers of one mother. Because you succeeded in damaging them. You're raising a girl child. She makes a mistake. You ask her to wash plates. And she didn't wash them fine. This is what you tell. See, is this how you wash your plate? Is this how you use your plate? You change it. Is this how you wash plate in your husband's house? So you're raising her. She can't be anything beyond washing plates in a husband's house. Instead of you to correct her. I've never seen a man and a wife. Is that how you wash plate in your wife's house? Is that how you will do this? It's always grooming. 
So where is the own mother you're talking about? Where is your mother? Where are they? No doubt, there used to be an authority. The own mother used to be an authority. <laughs> say, will you marry me? Now try and rest. The own mother used to be an authority. In those days, their talk is fine now. They deliberate. Because mostly they are not biased. Mother is not biased. A mother will protect her children, both male and female. No favoritism. Because she knows the pain she passed through. You come with arguments that are baseless. Ah, uh, men are superior to women. Uh, it is the men that do the hard work. It is the men. Which hard work are you doing? You were built physically strong. Yes. She was also built physically strong to suit her own role. You are saying, man, can you pass a baby through your penis? Yeah, one. Can you pass a baby's head? It okay. Can you pass a baby's head? Can you? I don't want to begin to compare these roles. Anybody that is making that argument, I see as a stupid person. You're suffering dawning Kruger effects. I see you as someone now, Maroife. I saw so many comments. Like the one that said, eh, that the army is a woman. The sky is male. That is true. But he now said something. He said, oh, my is a man. Oh, why is not a man. Oh, why is a woman. He now said, eh, that the earth takes whatever the, whatever the sky gives to you. That is a very big lie. That is a very big lie. The earth does not take whatever the sky gives to it. There is a way there will be so much heat from the sun. The earth will, the earth will, there will be a volcanic eruption. There will be an earthquake. Everywhere will be shaking. The tectonic plates will move. Everything will shake. So what are you telling me? If the rain rains too much on earth, there will be erosion. There will be landslide. There will be flood. So what are you telling me? You 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 coin things just to suit your narrative. Or they don't ma. Blow I will speak the truth, even if I'm standing alone in the crowd. I will always speak the truth. I'm not here to please anybody. So no matter what you say to me, hey. What the guy can't go on so no car. Um, they're all falling on my back. I don't hear them. You cannot shame me. You cannot shut me up. I'm a force. And this is what I came to do. To restore the balance. Because you've turned everything upside down. You're shouting Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. You will never get that Biafra. Who is this person? Please, you hold on. You're looking for freedom. You're looking for Biafra. Ah! What's me? Generations of born will come and they will see this video. Turn up on a phone. You know, of course, they don't understand that you're trying to tell them that you're busy and they keep on calling. Sorry about that. Generations of born will come and they're going to miss this video. They will know. The spirits will see as I'm speaking. I did my job. Against all odds. In a world where everything is standing against me. I'm speaking and I'm doing my job. I'm awakening her people. I'm awakening her I'm speaking and I'm doing my job. I'm awakening her people. I'm awakening her people. I'm awakening her people. So I do not care about you. I'm not saying you. I'm not an ice cream seller. I do not come here to make you happy. I do not come here to, to, to please you. I do not come here to massage your ego. I did not come here to masturbate with you. I'm here to speak the truth. Fellow me back, I'm gonna get a quick of Senaco. I will yak an EKC and me and anyway, KCC. I did not come here to do that. Why am I telling you what matriarchy does? Why am I trying to compare and contrast? It is not in my nature to compare and contrast all these things, but I needed to do it because you were doing that. So you can see your folly. So you can understand you are on the wrong path. Fundicholes Yoku. 
but your ego will not allow you. Ego is one of the hardest to defeat in groups. It's one of the hardest things you can defeat. So you will understand. You are a man, you are carrying the seed. But for that seed to germinate or become anything, that seed can never amount to anything without a woman. If I have corn seed and I'm holding it, it will never germinate. That corn will never amount to anything. Is there a bed? Swallow it and it is finished. Sometimes maybe the bed swallow itself. The bed will end up shitting it again. And it will still sprout from the earth. It cannot sprout without being in contact with earth. Nothing moves without a woman. Nothing grows. That is our job. So how can you turn things upside down? When you put seed on earth, what happens? Two things, two things take place. First of all, it's in the darkness of the womb. The womb of the earth. That is where the seed germinates. It starts bringing out roots. The roots it brings out, maybe something you can call cutly done. One is going towards the earth, geotropism, looking for water. This is the power of matriarchy, looking for water. And one is going towards the sky, looking for the sunlight, phototropism. Everything needs to work together. None is more important than the other. That is what I wanted to understand. But matriarchy was there as leader in the past to maintain the balance. The moment matriarchy was overthrown, that is when the wars of Igbo started. The wars started with matriarchy being overthrown. You tell a woman not to speak. I see people, you say you are a Christian and you call yourself a feminist. You cannot be a Christian and be a feminist. They do not work together. Because the Bible says you should not talk. You should not ask questions in public. If you do not understand anything, go home and ask your husband. You don't argue. You have to keep quiet. When you are menstruating, you are unclean. That is what the Bible says. When you give birth to a child, you are unclean. You bring forth life, suddenly you become unclean. Since when did when the when when when, when the dark mothers bring forth what we eat, did it become unclean? Ask yourself. Ask yourself that. Welcome, Linda and Kobe. Ask yourself that. Since when did that start happening? While the plant is growing, two things support it. Ikuku, the sun. Miri, Allah. Without these two things, you so who told you you're superior? Nobody is superior. Why don't you focus on playing your role? You keep on saying things like, Hey, eh, I'm the head, I'm the head, I'm the head. What do you mean and you are talking about? Says, Nebuisi. Nebuisi has been in existence before the church people came, before the, the, your religion came. Nebuisi has been in existence. Nebuisi has always been in existence. A one white wire neck. If Igbo, Igbo was built on matriarchy, that's why you see places. Go to Anambra State. Go to Anambra State. Who named all those? Is it me that I named those places? Is it me? Newi. Ne. Ewi. Nobi. Nokwa. Neni. Am I the one? No, chi. Am I the one naming all these places? Have you asked yourself why an Ambra men are always like Mama and Yese? They are always listening to their mother. Have you asked yourself that question? You will never hear an Ambra man say Papa and Yese. Oh, Mama and Yese. That is why they are progressing more than most states. Because they understand, they still uphold Matraki a little. They still uphold. That is why the richest men in Igbo land, you always find them in Anambra states. You don't know the secrets. 
You don't know the secrets. You see, carry to hammer. They still understand the power of ne. They still understand it. You've, you've, not, you've not asked yourself that question. Why is it that the richest men in Igbo land? You always find them in Anambra. You open your mouth. They are then I go away go. Then I go away go. Apart from their business sense, they are not the only Igbo men that have business sense. Most Igbo men, in fact, every Igbo by blood, we like money. We love money. Or well, have you asked yourself why they are progressing the way they are progressing? And apart from that, they love each other. They help themselves. Even though not all, but more than other states. Have you asked yourself that? The next states that progress more, more than Anambra state is Imo states. Because those ones, they still uphold less more. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to abuse their women's rights. Check your more Imo state. I'm not saying you know, all that states know they go to school or know they train their women. But these people are more. Do you see how Anambra people protect their daughters? Do you see that? All these things. Matriarchy. The land flourishes. The person that gave you the Bible in their place, they uphold their women. That is why they are growing. That is why they are growing. But you, you, every opportunity you get, you want to play down on the powers of a woman. There are realms. That is why when I see all this, some of these deviants, I'll just be laughing. Except a few that I understand. There are realms in the spirit you cannot unlock without a woman. There are realms, no more, that you cannot open without matriarchy. You have to be like a woman to open it. You have to treat women right to open it. You have to balance out your feminine energy. The truth is that this energy is in all of us. As I'm here, I'm wearing this sack of meat that qualifies me to be a fem feminine on this plane. I also have my masculine parts. You that is a man watching this video, you're putting on that sack of meat that makes you identify as a man. The other side, you still have your feminine side. Balancing it is key. Balance. My leg is no more important by my, than my head. Or than my hands. And my hands is not more important than my legs. And my head is not more important than... They are all working together. My head can think of places. My leg will take me to the place. And my hands will be able to execute what I want to execute without my leg and my hands my head will only be thinking of without doing anything can't amount to anything so what is it I told you the rights of a woman and you're crying I'll see saying it again. It is not arrow. It is not arrow. It is you that made it arrow. It is not arrow. I'll continue to say it. I'll continue to scream it. We must learn. Igbo shall never rise or see freedom until the place of a woman is restored. No nation rises above the moral positioning of its women. My post was not to encourage adultery. No. My post is to tell you that a woman has as much right as you have to do that which you are doing. So you do it to a woman and it is good and when she does it to you, it becomes evil. Can't you see a wicked person? You are admitting your wickedness on the post. You do it and it is okay. And when a woman does it, it becomes evil. You cannot take half of the evil you do to your fellow human being because you feel like you, you have a penis. 
You can maltreat your fellow human being. But you cannot take half of this evil you dish out on the surface of the earth. Hey, you! There is scum of the earth. There is scum. The golden rule, if you really want to ascend, the golden rule is do unto others what you want them to do to you. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Treat people the way you want them to treat you. My work and my wine. If I do something to someone, I ask myself, even in a relationship, this thing, if this person does it to me, how would I feel? How will I feel about it? And when I check, oh, I won't feel good. I won't like it. Then I say, okay, I shouldn't do this to this person. It's not good. When I bring out my old clothes to give out, I look at the, I look at them and I ask myself I ask myself question. Why? What's the reason I'm not putting on this clothes again? Okay, there's a stain here. This is the reason. Okay, this is not good to give to someone. I turn it to rag. But if I ask myself, what's the reason I'm not wearing this clothes again? Why? Okay. There are too many clothes here. That is why I'm not even noticing this one. I need to give it out so I can see space. That means it's good for someone. Okay. It's no longer my size. That is why I'm not wearing it. I'll give it to someone. Okay. There is a stain here. No, this one should be rag. Before you do something to someone, a draw. If it is done to me, will I be happy? That way you would have, would have answered the question. Will I be happy when this is done to me? You see all those who are crying? All right, so I enjoy their tears. When I do that, they come to cry. I enjoy it. Because they've hurt a lot of women with that. So many women are damaged because of the name of marriage. Why? And we continue to uphold stupid standards. Inhuman standards. And you want to progress. You will never progress. My father is an automobile electrician. When he was still practicing. What can I do? If he has issue with my mom, he will be begging her, please. Anytime you're angry with me, if I go out there, I don't used to see any customers. Please. Let me be able to make money for us to eat. Don't be angry with me. I'm sorry. You understand this? Some of you are not progressing because of the way you treat women in your life. Some of you are not progressing because of what you're doing to that woman that is with you. You don't know the power of matriarchy. You don't know the power of humanity. Some of you are not progressing. That your physical strength, you think, say, if it is my physical strength, Barrow Bushas will be the richest. Do you see the way Obi Kumara treats his wife in public? Let me not talk about private. He respects her. Obi on a chiti, he understands the need to respect her and show her that love. When you respect your woman and treat her right. We shouldn't be talking about submission or headship. She will be the one to make you the captain. Nah. Carry me the go we are no no. You become a god to her. What's her pote now? I am a man. Why didn't you tell me you are a man? When you keep on screaming you are a man in my ears, what I hear is that you are not man enough. You don't need to scream it if you are. Show me. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man. When you tell me you are a man, what I hear is that, oh, please, I'm a man, you have to listen to me. Do you know what I hear? I'm worthless, I'm worthless. The only thing I have is a penis. You have to listen to me because I have a penis. That is what I hear. 
Because if you have something important to say, you will say it without screaming that you're a man. You will say it and I will listen. But when you have nothing to say, you continue shouting, you're a man, you're a man, you're the head. Continue forcing what you are not. Because if you are who you say you are, you won't be making noise. You won't be forcing it. You will command that respect with your actions. It is end. It is end. Let's stop it. Let's bring back balance to our land. Bring back balance to our Libu. Stop mistreating the feminine energy. Nebuisi. Neka. When you give birth to your child, the first thing, the first language, they ask you what is your mother tongue. Nobody's ever talking about father tongue. You've not asked yourself. When you want to talk about a country, you call her ha. Ha. Why is it not him? Even those that give you religion understand this. The Catholic Church. You've not asked yourself why they're always after, why they're always talking about Virgin Mary. They pay her homage. There are things you can never get in this life except you go through the mothers. There are realms you can never access in this life and in the spirits except you go through the mothers. Good luck. My wife make a waiting in this. Good luck, Jonathan. I just walk out with her and my mama make a waiting in this. People that make that saying behind every successful man there is a woman. I know get the opro. I know get the way to be the opro. Opro ne buto opro. You keep on saying, hey, women cannot handle power. It is you, the men, that cannot handle power. It is you that cannot handle power when it is given. That is why you abuse it with impunity because you don't know the value. You do not understand it. There are realms you cannot attain Without a woman, you, you have to go through the mother. A palm tree produces palm wine. Do you know how the wine, I tell you in Galilee, Jesus turned water into wine. Do you know how the geotropism, the, the, the way it, it's collected water from the earth up to the tree? Because you are not tapping it from the root, so you are tapping it from the tree. That is where you hang your cake to tap palm wine. Now that one, now, now, now that's the only way water turns into wine. No? Not the physical magic that they talk about. Do you know the process he went through? The nutrients before you can get the wine. Nenu, nenu Do you know the process that you're feeding? It's because of Allah. Feminine energy. Matriarchy. You dance to Neogugu. You sing her praises. And then you turn around. Her physical manifestation, which is a woman. You spit on her. You try to trample on her. You try to walk all over her. And you want to progress. This video is not about power puzzle. It's for you to understand Stop feeling too important. Osea, the world does not revolve around you. Every gender matters. Every gender matters. Understand matriarchy. Matriarchy is ruling. And look at the way everywhere is. Greed. 
was famine, different evil going on. And you think you will get any freedom anytime soon. You're not getting any freedom. You will not see it. Read my lips. I'm the one that said it. Take it anywhere. You will not see any Igbo nation. You will not see any Biafra until the place of a woman is restored. To be very far. But I want generations unborn to know that I did my part in this fight to restore balance. I did my part. I played my role without fear or favor. I lent my voice that the oath I swore, I'm upholding it. Call me whatever you want to call me. Call me a shower. That one a normal nickname for every woman. All of us now shall we please your mama. As now that why they collect your call they collect money from your papa carry belly give birth to you. You're a product of a shawu. So call me a shawu. Fim. Call me anything. Just to help your life. Call me anything. I don't send you. I don't send you at all. It doesn't move me, it doesn't shake me. I only pity you. Because my like, body body disturb you. And you're damaging your life. That is why you continue coming back, repeating the same mistake. I will say it again. You're cheating on your woman. She decides to cheat back or bora arrow. She's not. Evil. She's only paying you back in your own coin. She's serving you the karma balance. What you expect from her, give it to her. If you want to do polygamy, do it the right way. Let her, let her know. There are women that want to live in a polygamous home. And when you tell them, they will tell you, they will even help you and find the next two months to marry yourself. But don't bring in a woman. And you tell her, eh, we are going into a monogamous relationship and tomorrow you are with another person. For what? I support her to cheat on you. So, this is, if I round up, if I round off, I'm not rounding off criminals. Understand that the forces in the universe are mostly feminine and there is also masculine. Understand that there is a need for balance. When there was matriarchy, matriarchy maintained that balance. Everything was going on fine. It was when matriarchy was overthrown that the force started. Everything started turning upside down. Allah is a woman. Allah wala. Chineke is not a man. You need to understand that. Chineke is a man and a woman. The ancient Tibos understood balance. Chi is male. Eke is female. They work together. So you understand what you are calling Chineke. Chineke is not a man. Chineke is not a woman. Chineke is androgynous. Because she cannot exist without its creative force, without its eke. It's like sim card and phone. She is sim. Eke is the phone. The sim cannot function without going into a phone. But I can actually use my phone without a sim card. I'll connect the nearest Wi-Fi. But my sinker cannot connect to any anything without a phone. Understand that.
find their understanding me understand balance You, you don't learn anything from me. I'm no kumbu kuyara. Oku a mad woman. What's from a mad woman? But let it sink into your subconscious. Let it sink into your spirit. Let it sink into your soul. That's why I made you said this. That's why I made you fought for this. No that and no peace. Everything we complement each other. Nobody is greater than the other. We work together. Nobody is more important. Respect your women. Treat them right. And true matriarchy. It starts with you. It starts with me. And see how things will start changing. Why am I not Hey, why cannot be a president? That is how your failure started. Why am I not If you people had the power to stop a woman from giving birth to a child, hey, why am I not a woman? That is what it would. That that is what it would have been. That is what you would have done. Greetings, Judith. That is what you would have done. Because you're so selfish, so self-centered that you think everything is all about your, 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 your pennies. Why am I menka? Why am I menka? And I have to know why I want to tell you. Why am I apology? Women. Let me tell you how women stopped doing color not too sure before. It was still about the fall. So many angry spirits. Then all the spirits they don't come down now. Now that's why you can see some stupid people do stupid things and they get away with it, but they will still get it. And I count all the spirits were very reactive. The moment you're calling on them, because mostly we are using Kola not to call on. The moment you're calling, they are striking you. And they wanted to preserve. <laughs> they wanted to preserve their women. They wanted to preserve their bloodline. They wanted to continue having children. So they said women should stop doing the Kola not ritual so that more can more happen. So they can be able to give birth to children, no, 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 children that will give birth to offspring that will continue their lineage. That was how women stopped the cola not ritual. And only men were doing it. But we have passed through that stage. That was in deep Ogaze, in between Ogaze and Ogaka. I will still talk about the four seasons in Igbo, in Igbo spirituality. That was when women stopped. When I'm talking about Sibo traditions, I'm not talking about Sibo traditions of 100 years ago. I'm not talking about Sibo traditions of 200 years ago. I'm talking about Igbo of thousands of years ago. Igbos of millions of years ago. Igbo is as old as the world itself. Like I said, Igbo is not a tribe. It is not. Igbo is matriarchy. It's a spirit, it's a force. Understand this. And she's waking up. She's sending out different people, which are one, to expect more uprising. Expect more uprising. Expect it. Because she's turning. The problem is the people. That is what she told me. You, you are the problem. You and I. So I'll continue speaking. I'll continue speaking. Call me whatever you want to call me. I'm not send you. I'm not an ice cream seller. I'm not here to make anybody happy. Even me myself, I'm not happy. I'm a baby girl now. Look at me. Hmm? 
I should I should have been a one off by now for don't receive so many promotion for my back end job. So please grow, evolve. Don't stay one place and be turning and be making silly rules, limiting yourself, seeing a limit to one again. That is not good for growth. So I'll be stopping this video. There could be a part two of this video because I believe somehow I made this video a bit angry and sad at the situation. So I'll be stopping here. I'm also expecting more tears. I drink milk tears for a living. I drink no tears. My aunt would chop. I will not. I will go my amy room working on out there. Um, walk out Romani Judici. Hey, I am Miriana on our table. Um, no neighbor, the Aquana deposed. I will my aunt, I will my aunt on our Japo. On a on a on a safety. On a safety. So cry so cry some more. Cry me a river. Only a few men. I would like to. Send out my greetings and my appreciation to the kings. I would like to appreciate them. I respect men. I love men. I respect them a lot. Them a lot. So I'm not a man hater. I just call out bullshit of those silly ones amongst them. I respect them do do when they do and I know some of them are my followers and I'll call their names someone like Chimsum Obe Obe Chimsum something like that I think I remember his name is Obe and there's Chimsum uh, is it Chimsum uh, but Obe you know yourself when you hear your name you know someone like Paul Abu someone like Choka Obe Zono someone like Chim Dimnobi I know someone do I greet you all. You all are wonderful. You all are kings. You all are gods. And you will continue to live. You will continue to excel. You continue to grow. You continue to evolve. Doors that are shut against you. Those doors. Your evolution is going to open them for you. That long. You all have a wonderful day. So I believe this video will likely have a party too, but not today. Probably then my spirits don't calm down small. You will need it to speak. Have a wonderful day.